So I really wonder why no Christian faith has uh, succeeded in penetrating this place. My old bishop, so many people have tried, but so some of them have not been successful. They even build a church and a house, you know, in the so called evil forest. But as we speak, the the, the place is in ruins, you know, it's it completely dilapidated. To send a, a missionary team there. But who shall we send? Oh, my lord, uh, if you would permit me, I would like to go. Yes, because I have previously been involved in missionary work in Izani, Umuchu, and different places. I know that. But. Your service in your parish is indispensable. I know, my lord, but you see, my assistant priest, Father Njoku, is also very capable. I know that too. My lord, please, I will implore you just let me go. Because I have been itching to go back to missionary work. Wow, thank you. My Reverend, I have always been thanking God for the grace He has given you that you use to enrich these people. These people need salvation. Everybody needs salvation. I sincerely wish we have more priests like you. Well, I will grant you the liberty to go and set up a powerful missionary team. And your mission is to preach the salvation to the Hita people. And when that is completed, we will build schools, hospitals, and be able to know which area we are going to help these people. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I will inform the parish priest of Amelu about your mission so that we will make available for you any, any, any necessary assistance that you will need. Thank you very much. We will celebrate Mass, say rosary for a fruitful mission in this place. I'm not just ready to be persecuted in my village, but I'm ready to die for the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Spirit of God, and I don't know what might be for me there. But one thing that I'm sure of is that I'm doing God's will, and we're going to have a fruitful mission there. Do you understand me? And I'll come back, I promise you. And even if I don't come back, I'll call you. You can come and join me there. All right? You can do that again. I'm scared. of your village. You know it's evil. John, please don't do this to me. Please. I 
Hallelujah. God is stronger than any evil you can imagine. We're talking of God here. You have no reason to be afraid. I'm doing God's work. Let me tell you, a child's palm cannot get scarred by a piece of what comes placed in his palm by his mother. I feel it just this so fine ignorance. They live in wretched and abject ignorance. They serve false God. They kill human beings. They kill twins. It's hopeless. This is my village. I'm happy I have this great opportunity to join the people, to bring the light, God's message to my people. Don't you see how important it is? For my people to know God, to share in our sacred faith. Don't you understand me? to do God's work. Father Kobe, why do you wish to come? My principle has always been if you want something done right, do it yourself. <laughs> you are absolutely right, Father Kobe. But you should understand that uh, many, many years ago, some missionaries came to Akweke to plant new faith. Actually, they were the White Fathers, a society of missionaries in Africa, led by white priests, Reverend Father Conwell. These fathers were known for their preaching and missionary work in the East. They were successful in other villages in Akweke, except Ahita. But why, Father? The villagers. The villagers said that what they were preaching was sacrilegious to their river, Iyogwe. What about Iyogwe? Um, Iyogwe is a river in Oheta. This river is worshipped by the people. And it is believed to have some supernatural powers the power of Yogwe is vested in its priest. This force has some power structure that has absolute control over the whole people. And it became dispatched throughout the whole society like a lingering malignant ailment that is very difficult to cure. Do you believe in the power of this Yogwe? Father, um, I, I, I do not know because the accounts oh, are as solid as the reasons that we give to believe in God or Jesus Christ. And uh, one cannot stop to conclude that uh, when a whole society creates a belief in something, that that something is likely to become real. Well, no matter how real it might seem, we will not relent in our efforts to making them know the power of God. We will preach from house to house and in public. We have to know what the repentance to God and our faith in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father Kobe, I am glad to hear this. I am. Don't go. 
Kobe. Yes. The world could be a battlefield where children of God lock horns with a sense of darkness. Of course, of course. I'm afraid I'm going to give you this. You might need this for the Kobe. What? A gun? What do I need it for? You might find it handy this time. We are going to spread the gospel of God and not the gospel of war. Fine. Yeah. Spreading the gospel in our head could be a Please, I'll be waiting to hear from you. Report to us your progress. And if you need any assistance, do not hesitate to call me. Can you shoot? Yes, Father. Keep this. You find it handy. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you.
Huh? Today is the day of sacrifice to Iyobo. And strangers are not allowed. And you should know that Iyobo is angry with you. It's okay. Please, please. Come please. Then you must come with us to Iyobo Shrine. Where you'll be cleansed, or else you only develop hot bags when you leave. Nonsense. What? We care nothing about your pagan practices. What? Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay, my brother. It's okay. We will come with you. It's okay. Then come with us. Now move. Move. Move it. Get out of that car. Let's, eh? Let's go. Leave you. Hey, you. Out. We salute you. Do not hide your face from your children. You, who have guarded and protected us. You have never forsaken us. You have never failed us, your people. Rather, we are the ones that have failed you. In this difficult time, we have come to you again. The earth is catching. Our crops are dying because of lack of rain. And we have come to you for help. Send the rain! To quench the taste of the soil so that we can start us planting season again. So that our crops can grow. If we have offended you, forgive us. For we are like children that will wash their stomach when they want to bathe, leaving their entire body dry. We love you. Nothing is beyond you. And nothing has ever defied you. Ngele, we salute you. Our gods and our ancestors, we salute you too. Our gods will tear the rains from us as punishment for our sins. We have come to make atonement for such sins. We offer you this sacrifice to seek for your forgiveness and favor. Man cannot command good things from the gods, but you can always ask them and try to please them. Try to do those things that will please our gods to make them happy. Mm. Give me the fire. Of the living and the dead. What's going on there? That's why we got the priestess. They're trying to sacrifice the little girls. What? Yes. They need to win. That's why they're doing this. Join hands with Ingeme. Wait. They, they want to use them as bond offering? Yes. Hmm. No, Father, we have to stop this. Thing. This is so wrong. They can't do this. And love the feast on this sacrifice. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What is madness? What is it? 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 Still brought the gun? God. God save you. God. Yo, let's go. Come this way. Come this way. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Still brought the gun. This is an abomination. This is unheard of. Unthinkable. What did you find out? They are hiding the old church building. Good. 
We shall fish them out tonight. By tomorrow sunset, we have them sacrifice to Yahweh. But who are these people, and where are they from? Mm. Huh? We don't know them. But amongst them is Ozzy the Christian. Yeah. Ozzy the Ozzy the do you know these people your son brought to this village? What's he gonna? But who brought them to the shrine? What was an important sacrifice taking place? Yeah. Oh, Jubam. We did. We did. Yes. Huh? We did. We, did. Hmm? we saw them in the village. As we all know, it's an abomination to be to be seen nothing about at this day. That was the reason why we brought them to the shrine to be cleansed. That is another abomination. Do you know the consequences of what they have done? Our gods and our ancestors are very angry. No one can know the height of the anger. Your way must be at peace. Oh, it will withhold the rains forever. Yes! It's bread as we smeared in the mud. Huh? What can we do to appease the gods? Hmm. Another sacrifice has to be made. We have to kill something to make the rains fall again. Another sacrifice has to be made. We have to kill something to make the rains fall again. This time, it is the strangers. <laughs> but, Maniga, the oracle said it's only children that are accepted. <laughs> when a curious child pulls his hand in fire, <laughs> he does not enjoy the experience. This is a deliberate effort to the powers that be and must be visited with crushing punishment. <laughs> the strangers must die. They must be sacrificed. Or, greater calamity will befall or hit. Uh -huh. Everything must be done to avert calamity in the land. Hmm? We are suffering already hmm. due to lack of friend. Hmm. Hmm. The strangers must be sacrificed. Gas! Go to wherever they are hiding and fish them out. Bring them here. Tread carefully. They are dangerously armed. <laughs> Um, this is too much for one day. Yeah. We must have to go home and ponder on this event. We can give you a few cocoa. I got it. I am done. Ohita Quen! Ohita Quen! My good people of Ohita, I greet you all. No, no, We saw this meeting because of the strange events that took place yesterday. 
first. A total stranger came and stopped us from sacrificing to our gods. Mm. Mm. Then the rain came. Without our pleasing the vexed God. So why did the gods, instead of punishing us, bless us? Why? Before trying to understand this, we must know who these people are and their mission. Oh, this proper then. Oh, you can Yeah. Oh, we want to name. No. My elders, I greet you all. Mm -hmm. The priestess, I greet you. I am John Idika, son of the great Ozo Idika, who is here amongst us today. And these are my brothers and sisters. We have been sent by the Almighty God to bring you the good news. But, 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 wait, wait, uh, uh, are you trying to say that the women among you are not your wives or your brother's mm -hmm. wives? No, no, they are not. They are Christian sisters. They do not marry. Achie. Huh? Achie. You said you were sent by your God mm -hmm. to bring us good news. Yes, indeed. Which God? The only God. The creator of heaven and earth. The God that gave you life. The God that gave me life. And the good news is for you to abandon your false gods and place your feet in Jesus Christ. You call the God of your fathers false gods. Yeah. 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 I don't blame you. The bad news is that you brought strangers into this land and they have done terrible things. Chiefs and elders of this land, I greet you. We come in peace. Yes. With guns. Oh. The gun shot was a mistake. It was shot in self-defense. Like John Weir was saying, we are Catholic missionaries. And we have been sent by God. The true God, creator of heaven and earth, to come here and show you his ways. No! We don't want to learn the ways of your gods. We have our own gods. The gods of our forefathers and ancestors, they have never disappointed us. Never! Not like I was saying, we come in peace. And by the special grace of the one and true God, we brought you in. <laughs> no! It was not you that brought the way. The gods were appeased. With what? Um, maybe Chief Obiako and Chief Udense have something to say. Uh, yes. Actually, we have something to say. Yes. yes. And uh, if I am permitted, uh, uh, the only one for that said uh, the women with them are not their wives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, I want to address the woman in dark complexion. Uh, uh, see, I am Chief Obiako, the son of the great wealthy Obiako from the lineage of great warriors and farmers. Uh -huh. Is it, they say it's not the number of farms a man has that makes him a great man. But the number of yams in those farms, yes. and in my own case, I not only have bands, but plenty yams in the bands. So we can. Ubiako, and the other one for me. Do you have something else to say? No, I, I'm telling you that since uh, the women are not their wives, uh, one can be given to me to marry. Yes. One. Keep quiet, Ubiako. You have started again. You have started again, Obiako. How? You talk nothing but women. Uh -uh. The five wives you have, are they not enough for you, Obiako? No, but since I have been with the five wives, I've never complained to anybody. Because we know young wives, not only my own. I now want men to be given to me because I am fit. Obiako, shut up your mouth. If you talk again in this garden, I will ask the gods 
to strike death and dumb. Achi e muni mu oyi mu e gembidi. Achi e muni mu oyi mu e gembidi. Get on, man. I want to also tell you that we will also teach your people other things. We will teach them how to read and write. And in turn, we will build hospitals here. We will build schools. We will provide other amenities for your people. We will also... At what price? Because we can no longer be fooled by your false goods and, and, and bribe. At all. Uh -huh. At all. What price? All we ask for is for your good people to provide us with a piece of land. <laughs> then we will build our church and wash it. <laughs> we don't have enough land to waste. At all. Provide for us the old abandoned church building in your village. You know what? Leave us a while so that we can talk among ourselves. Yes, we will call you later. Let's confer. Can I buy you? I know. 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 I um, um, Ohita people are known for their hospitality and it will not be good for us to drive them out. Oh, no. That church was built in the evil forest and the evil spirits in that forest Though they were the first church people that came. Yes. Good. Yes. But that's history. Mm -hmm. That's history. Mm -hmm. If they say they want to stay, mm -hmm. let them stay. But I tell you, they will see what the others saw. If you want to call for it. If you want to call for it. If you want to call for it. My people. These people say the power of their God is greater than that of ours. <laughs> Let us see how powerful this their God is. But we cannot do this by shunning them. We will let them stay. This is a challenge to our gods. Before the week runs out, I promise, we will learn that no foreign God is greater than the gods of our father. Mancha, mancha. <laughs> the Christians are like mist that appears for a while and disappears. The foreign faith and gods cannot survive. They cannot stay. We have seen this before. Yes. 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 The one in that complexion, please leave her for me. I'll do anything to have her, please. please. Okay, okay. Um, hence, you are going to do the toasting. I will let you have her. Flowers from the stream. You're welcome. Flowers from the stream, I greet you. We greet you, sir. I hope you know me. Chifobiako, the farmer who produces the biggest sizes of yams in this whole town. Yes. The farmer whose yam pans are always filled to the top. In fact, the richest farmer in the whole of our town. I am the person Chifobiako. <laughs> Chifobiako, 
Oh, Mary, mother of God, please help us. You are beautiful. You, you, you young lady. The bride that must not go out in the sun. Or the beauty that must not be touched by the dew. And the feather that is meant for the rich. And who is that rich except me? <laughs> What did I do? Why are they running? With what now? Why did they run? Why did they We have to go. We have to go. No, but, but why did they run? It's not because of this red cap. No, but even with my red cap, I'm still very handsome. The richest farmer in our town. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have run. Maybe you did not put the, the words how they're supposed to, the, the, the way they would like us. No, I, in fact, they are cheerful. Hey! Yeah, yeah. You too. No, thank you, sir. I don't drink. As for John, I know he will not drink. Because since he joined this Yoni religion, he has refused to take part in everything we do in this community. Now, tell me about this your religion and your gods. There is only one Supreme God who created the whole world. He is just. He is merciful. He is powerful. But he is a spirit. So you don't have gods and deities as we have Iyogwe, Ogugu, Udo, Arrow and uh, when we have Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, God showed Himself in the life of Jesus. Jesus is man and God, man is separated from God because of sin. And for this, Jesus came to this world to tell us that despite our sins, we are still loved by God. And for this, he died so that our sins will be forgiven and will be drawn closer to God. He died. Who killed him? Man. Yes, man. And he was represented on earth by the Holy Spirit after he rose from the dead on the third day. Now the Holy Spirit guides Christians on what is right and wrong, helps them pray, and helps them overcome their various obstacles and problems. We have deities and gods. But we believe in Chineke, the creator of the whole world. But we don't see him. So we worship these deities and gods whom we can see. They represent the will of God to man. So every man now knows which deity is responsible to what comes to him. And then offers a sacrifice and worship accordingly. Now, Elder, am I wrong to say that these gods are 
or these deities are man-made. I can concede to you that idols are man-made. But they have been like that from the beginning of time. And it's sacrilegious for anyone to question their origin, nature, or power. And have you ever for once doubted their power? No. They are fortified with medicine, strong medicine, by a powerful medicine man. I am aware that um, there have been instances where there's... Um, Powerful gods or deities have been offered sacrifices and yet they did not perform their duties. And again, they have been stolen or carried away to other places and yet nothing happened. Am I wrong? The gods fight their fights. Sometimes you may hear about a situation where thunder or lightning strikes a man to death or says he has a bliss that is a madua retaliating or in another situation where someone is stricken with yams or skin diseases that is udo retaliating now if any idol is taken away like you claim it is replaced and the medicine in it renewed after a series of rituals and religious sacrifices. Now, if any idol is taken away like you claim, it is replaced and the medicine in it renewed after a series of rituals and religious sacrifices. So, one can take away an idol, replace it and renew its powers. Yes. That goes to show you that their powers are of man. They are originated from man and not God. They are not of God, nor his representatives on earth, as you claim. I think I have too much wine for my body. I've had too much wine, and I can no longer reason well. Maybe we talk another time when I can think well. Thank you. All I'll say is thank you for your service. Thank you. John. You know, um, I'm surprised. For years I've been trying to preach the gospel to my father, but he had always refused to listen to me. How come he listen to you? Remember it is written in the Bible, that from the time and life of our Lord Jesus, a prophet has honor, but not in his home. I see. officially begun our mission here after a turbulent
response. As you know, this is our second week here. Like you predicted, the people are afraid to come to the church. I, however, think they are weary of our motives. They watch us as if they expect something terrible to happen to us. But I feel their hunger and eagerness to know God as we go around the village to teach them the scriptures. They are excited by the stories of the Bible and fascinated by the life and works of our Lord Jesus Christ. They marvel at the parables he taught with and the miracles he performed. They call him the wise magician. What surprised me most is the deep questions they ask about God, Jesus Christ, and the kingdom of God. worship different things and call them gods. But I tell you there is only one true God who created earth and heaven. And because he gave every one of us here life, he alone shall we worship. That is why we are inviting you to come to our church, worship with us, and learn the ways of God so that you all can be saved. If we come to this your shrine, the one you call church, can we see this your God? Yes! God cannot be seen. God is spirit. But you can feel the presence of God. God is not like those pieces of wood or those things made out of clay you people worship. God is a jealous God. And because he is jealous, only him 
shall we worship? We are not quite clear about this, your God. At times, we refer to him as Jesus Christ. At times, Holy Spirit, depending on the moment. Which one is your God? We want to know. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus is man and God. God sends Jesus to earth by transferring his life into the womb of a godly woman by name Mary. Jesus came to earth to show us the ways of God. And he provided a model for every one of us to follow. And I tell you, Jesus gave his own life. He died so that our sins shall be forgiven. When Jesus ascended back to heaven, he sent us the Holy Spirit to guide and to protect us. Uh, Father, um, why did he perform miracle? <laughs> well, <laughs> my sister, that is a beautiful question. Jesus performed miracles because he had pity on the sufferings of mankind. His miracles also showed that he is the Son of God. His miracles also showed what will happen to true Christians who believe when he finally sits on the throne in the kingdom of God? Where is your kingdom of God located? So I want to see him and talk to him eyeball to eyeball. The kingdom of God, my brother, is in heaven. No man has seen it. No heart has conceived it. It is the most beautiful place ever. It is the place where righteous people will stay. It is the place where righteous Christians will stay. It is the place where we will have everlasting life. There will be no war, no violence, no crime. People of God will live in peace and in unity. Uh, um, Father, what can we do to enter into the kingdom of God? Well, my sister, follow and listen to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is that simple. People are beginning to pick courage to come to the church. We are waiting for the first day 
when the first convert will walk into the church. We are in good health and pray that our good Lord and his angels bless and guide you. Amen. by the plight of my stepmother in Pichi, who has been barren for years and to cap it all the villagers are even accusing her of having sold her unborn children to witches and wizards but the is bothered and she asked me to speak with you I will leave her with you she will talk to you okay Sustain you. Abigail, what is the problem? My stepmother has been married for 12 years without any child. All the sacrifices she has been asked to make to appease the gods, especially Yogwe and Ugugu, the gods of fertility, were all in vain. I listened to you people's preaching the other day when you preached about God's love and miracles. Please, she needs a miracle. Can you give her a child? It's only God that gives children. We are just his servants. If can if we just give her one child, just one child. God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. All you need to do is to bring every member of your family to church so they can give their life to Christ. Okay? We we'll accept to do anything. It's okay. Anything it takes, we we'll accept to do anything. It's okay. Let's pray together. You can see I'm worshipping. We have come to preach to you the word of God. You see, this wood you worship will never bring you blessings. Is that why you are here? But it could. Now, go away, Fadikobi. Go away and let me worship the gods of my fathers and ancestors. All of you who worship idols do so in abject ignorance. That is why we have come to make you see the light. You see, God has not destined you for wrath, but to receive salvation through His Son, Jesus Christ. No. Now, when you worship your God, does anyone prevent you? Why do you want to prevent me from worshiping the gods of my father? Um, sir, we are not here to disturb you. We are here to lead you out of darkness into the light of God. The true path. The path to everlasting life in the kingdom of God. I mean, don't let this, those idols mislead you. Because they are actually misleading you. I see. Now, what exactly do you want from me? Good. Go into your home. Gather your family. Bring them out here. 
Let's then receive the word of God, which is the message of salvation. Ikenna. Ikenna. Yes, Papa. Make yourself comfortable. You go and get on my phone. Now leave this compound immediately before I behave two of you. God be with you. Why are you running? You should have waited and watched your heads roll on the dust today. Everybody in my family. I just hope we will catch a very big one. I feel something. What? I feel something. What? There. God! <laughs> it's a very big one. Let me see. <laughs> Good! Hey! I 
abomination. Alu, one inga must hear this. The others must hear this. Who is he? What's his problem? Let's go. That's enough for today. Let's go. Oh, let me, let me put let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Father, is he? Father, yeah, he's fine. I saw him driving up this afternoon with for so long. Okay, and went for evangelism, right? Evangelism? No, I saw him going out with a fishing rod. A fishing rod? Yes. He went fishing. Oh, there's no problem. Oh God, it's not allowed. It's an abomination. Jesus. Nobody's allowed to fish in this village. There's this the fish is again is 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 like a god to them. They're gonna hurt him now. This friend gets it. This is pretty cool. created heaven and earth, a God who we are all answerable to. Forget about those shrines in your houses. Father, Father, they're coming. They're coming. What's going on? They're coming. What's the sense? They're coming. 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 They're coming.
You have done a terrible thing. You killed the sacred and revered fish in Gene, the manation of the god of water and life. You have committed an abomination which its punishment is severe. I only caught fish. There's nothing sacred about fish. Fish is fish. Shut up your mouth! You are repentant fool. You committed a great abomination and you are here putting salt on injury. Why, nigga? That is why he and all his followers should be sent out of this village. Yes. Sir. Send them out of this land! Let them live! The offense is severe, and the offenders must be punished. Yes. My others, please, please, I beg you. Father Ikeobi is ignorant of the tradition in Ohita land. He is. He's not aware of your beliefs. Please. You cannot punish a man for an offense that he's not aware of. I beg you, please. Please. Um. It will not be wise for us to punish a man severely for an offense he committed unknowingly. Since he killed Ngene unintentionally, he has to make sacrifices of atonement and perform full burial rites for a great man. That's the custom. Never. I am not a heathen. I am a Christian. And as such, I will never ever do such a thing. We are wasting time. Iyogo is very angry. Iyogo cries and weeps for her son. And if nothing is done immediately, the wrath of Iyogo will be great on this land. Then let the wrath of Iyogo descend on me if it has powers. Let your Iyogo fight her fight herself. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Did you hear him? He challenges our gods. He challenges Iyogwe. What infantry? What vain pride? It is ignorance that makes the rat call the cat to a fight. Let me tell you, Mr. White Priest, the fear of the gods is the beginning of wisdom. And it's, all, it's only a fool that despises it. Yogo will lick you like fire licks oil. The God I serve, the true God, will defeat your toothless Yogo. <laughs> My God will defeat Yogo and his so called powers. <laughs> They are deaf in their foolishness. Who the gods want to kill the first met death? And don't forget that the Yogwe takes vengeance on whoever offends her. <laughs> you claim that your God has power over Yogwe. Very well. We shall let you go. Let us see your God save you from the wrath of Yogwe. The butterfly thinks himself a bird. <laughs> the words of the folly is right in his eyes. The Christian father Ikobi has fallen ill. You were visited him last night. And they said it was terrible for him. He nearly gave up. Who told you this? My son, John, of course. You know he's among the Christians. He told me the father is ill. 
and my wife in kitchen told me the rest. I know it will happen. <laughs> I know. Eh? A stubborn insect always takes refuge in a best abdomen. A corner. And who in his right sense will want to dare in your way? Eh? Or uh, have, you, have you ever seen a, a cockroach challenge fowl? Oh, my brother, he is reaping what he has sown. Hmm? And nobody will ever dare the power of our gods again. I want him to suffer before he dies, so that everyone in this uh, uh, land will know the power of Yogwe in spring. Very, very powerful. <laughs> That's why I came on. I should be on my way now. Uh, I will, I, will, I, will, I will see you later, so that we deliberate on this more. This calls for celebration. Then let's see later. I'm <laughs> going with this. Uh, uh, uh. When did they start? The city was having some cold and later on it developed temperature and it started shivering. Oh Jesus Christ. He's having a high temperature. Has he eaten? Yeah, um, he ate a little. <sighs> this is likely to be malaria fever. And we will start giving him medications immediately. For the COVID. How are you feeling? Alright, Asla. Please pray for me. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Is your husband at home? No, no. He went to Eziama this morning and he's not yet back. Yeah. Uh, tell him I was here. Tell him also to check me when he comes back. Okay, no. I will be expecting him. That's all right. Yes, so, and this is my coming back. I hope all is well. All is well, my brother. It's just about a parcel of land I'm negotiating to buy. Now that I've come back, I hope you're no longer living immediately. Uh, what brought me here is very, very important. In that case, let's go back and see that. Hmm? Hey, how Uh, what brought you? Uh, it's about the Christian father, Fadi Kobi. It's now 10 days. We've not heard anything about him. Is he dead? He's not dead, my brother. This whole thing puzzles me. In fact, I heard that he is even getting well. 
It can be. It can be. No, listen. I know that Iyogwe attacked him that night. Uh -huh. But could it be that he survived it? If he survived it, then I tell you there is more to that threat. No one can survive the Iyogwe's attack. You don't understand the Iyogwe. He likes to toy with its uh, victims before destroying them. Let us hope so in this case. If not, then I wonder what our people's fate in Iyogwe will become. I am not worried. Iyogwe is the owner of life and death. I agree. Are you surprised to see me? I know your fake gods must have told you that I am dead by now. But what a shame. I am very much alive. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? No, your eyes are not. This goes to show you that the God I serve is stronger than your yoga. I hope your eyes are open by this action. Father! Father! <laughs> the good Lord has done it. I am pregnant. Ah! You are what? <laughs> pregnant! But... Have you not been sleeping with me this past few months? <laughs> but one day I said that the oracle told her that you can no longer conceive. That you sold your womb to witches and wizards. Ah, deceit. All deceit. Also, my husband, I have seen the power of this God. I am a living testimony to that. I have received the light. And I have been blessed. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. At last. Oh. Mm. I will. I must be on my way. My weak bladder makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Ichie. Ichie. I want you to visit the church. And come and feel the power of the living God. Oh, we go. Now, my Bye-bye. My son. Please, sit down. Please, tell me about this, your God. And those things you said are written in the holy book. Our God is a good God. Then, mm -hmm. I have this story that brothers and sisters are sweeter Hi. than ordinary women. Nah. Toro, that is it. <coughs> that you know one. It's like popo. Huh? <laughs> hey. See, that one I'm targeting. Now. Hey, if I succeed, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See you for Okay, okay. okay. See you. Good day, Father. I heard you have something important to discuss. Yes. Yes. Um. Actually, we want to discuss something with you. Very vital. Yes. Yes, I probably. We have this desire. In fact, I have this desire to marry one of those your sisters. One of them. If we come to your church, 
Have you ever eaten food meant for your gods or idols? For someone to eat what is meant for the gods? It is an abomination. It is not done. So it is getting married to a reverend sister. To look at her lustfully, or to even think about it, is an abomination. Please. How? Those sisters have dedicated their lives to serving God. They do not meet with men or get married. They are of God. Now, if you look at them lustfully, or even think about it, you will only bring to yourselves curses. Curses? Yes. From where? From God Almighty. Oh, please, how do we avert such curses? Believe in God and worship Him. Come to the church, we will show you how. We will, we will. We will come. When is the church coming up? 8 o'clock mass tomorrow morning. We will come to avert the cost. We will, please. Cost from God? No. The greatest priestess of Iowa. I greet you. I found the land you there. Great craftsman of Ohita Kingdom. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. What brings you to the shrine this early morning? The toad, they say, does not run in the daytime unhindered. Not what <clears throat> It is this new religion. They are now like Upalanta. And has eaten deep into the body of our people. Unhindered. Our people are now pledging their allegiance. They just move it. Turn them away from the grace of our land. They now call our gods all kind of demeaning names. Telling the people that the gods cannot help them. In fact, they now encourage our people to go and burn their shrines and their idols. Huh? One nigga, this madness must be stopped. Or else, soon, very soon, no one will remain to offer sacrifices and worship our gods. Huh? We have to stop them. From teaching this, teaching and practicing this new faith openly. Yes. That is mm. what we have come to complain to you about. I'm on you. I'm go. I am disappointed in you, all of you. I am disappointed. Instead of condemning what these people are doing. We are running to join them. We stand with strangers to ridicule our gods. Hmm. Suddenly, our gods are no more gods. Suddenly, our gods have no real existence. They that guarded our ancestors through two tribal wars and made them victorious. 
they that gave us rich and bountiful harvest and children they that cured us from our sicknesses huh was it not in your way that protected ohita when smallpox swept through two towns in Obuelu? why did smallpox sweep past ohita to ravage Amucha, why? Was it not in your way that has been protecting us? Where we are the Christians, where we are they? And now they have come to tell you that your gods are helpless and you are believing them. Shame on you! Shame! My fellow elders and titled men. One nigga has said it all. Those of you flirting with this new religion, mm -hmm. <laughs> beware. Beware. A wise fish knows that a beautiful worm that looks so easy to swallow has a hook, sharp one attached to it. My people, listen to me. The wind of change is blowing all around us. The way we live now is not the way our ancestors lived. As times pass, things change. And sometimes we change with them. Some time ago, we were moving about stark naked. But today we wear clothes. My brothers, the world is a changing place. And so is man's life and beliefs. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. You can stop a bed from pushing on your head. But you cannot stop a bed from flying over your head. In case you don't know, our belief is our uh, religion. Our religion is our culture. Uh -huh. Our culture is our way of life. It is what holds us together. When we start to fall out one by one, what will be of our unity in our hitter? What does it become? Don't know me. Um, religion is part of culture. Our culture is our way of life, which changes with changing problems. Yes. If we have something to learn from the Christians, why not? Oh. Huh? Yes, again. Does our culture mean only what, we, what our ancestors did? What degree of that can we possibly do today? Huh? Tell me. Huh? Zaya. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 because you are the one saying this. You, yeah, okay, man. Oh, I have seen your amount of money. Wait, 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 the Christians are tearing us apart. They are tearing us apart. Exactly. Hey! Uh, I'm a son of you. You see, you can. You are a betrayer. And they refuse to protect you. You, 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 you suffer it. I'm no longer going to suffer it. Yes. Father, Father, we have to leave. We have to go. Leave. Yes. I mean, this mission is becoming very dangerous. It's it's becoming very scary. Sister Agatha, we started this mission together. 
and by the grace of God, we must finish it. But Father, I mean, the hatred of the priestess, the persecution, the attack is becoming very deadly. They almost killed the catechists. Sister Agatha, we planted the seed here. We have to stay and watch it grow. Yes, when I came into this village, I was disillusioned at some point in time. But I heard the voice of God. And he said, have I not prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies? That was enough encouragement for me. So you see, I'm no longer afraid. But Father, listen, Father, we have to just, we, we have to listen. just go. Hold on to your faith. You have to hold on to the faith. You should be happy that you are counted to suffer for God. Devote your time to prayers and the ministry of the word. You all have seen my heart, and you can still see my heart. You know there's no evil in it. Oh, Ita! Oh, Ita! Will you sit down and watch them turn our world upside down? No way. With due respect, that is not the issue. My son John was almost beaten to death yesterday. I forbid them from preaching in the village. You forbid them, Waniga? Yes, I did! You forbid them? When has it become our custom for an individual to decide and take decision for the entire village? Are you questioning my authority? Huh? What's it? Yes. If it is not used properly. Today, you have beaten the figure that has been feeding you. In your way, we destroy you. I'm with you. The word of the cross is fully to those who are perishing. But to those who are saved, it is the power of God. This is blessed water. Holy water. Sprinkle it in front of your homes. And I tell you, you will be protected against the evil ones. You! You white priest! I will show you that in your way is greater than you and your so-called gods. I am going to make you cry until you gnash your teeth. Um, Father, did you say the water in this bottle can protect me? If you have faith, then let me have one. Come on. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I implore you to fear not because the devil is looking for who to destroy but if you have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ 
you will be saved. He will shelter you. But because you are saved, God will be your uncle. You see? Thank you, my son. Glad in your way! Recognize your daughter, mother of her land. Recognize me, your obedient servant. Great God of our land, protector of our people, our guide in the world and beacon in the darkness. I present the Christians before you and their followers, those who have revered and given this honor to your name. When a man throws ashes in the face of the wind, the same wind smothers the ashes back to the man. But a fierce snake is asleep. Does not mean that it cannot kill if rudely interrupted or provoked. Great in your way, avenge your dishonor. Because when a man does not protest, road will be carved through his compound. Great Yogwe! Punish the Christians for their evil and put an end to the pride of the arrogant priest. That is holding us now. That's why I hate going anywhere with women at all. Test the depth of a river with both legs together. Now, what brings you here? Hey, it's our husband also. He, he fell down this morning and collapsed. Fell down from a tree? Or uh, what do you mean? I think he has seen something. Maybe a spirit. 
a spirit in broad daylight could it be yogwe yogwe has begun his vengeance Let's take him to this shrine. To one nigga. No. No. Idika. Only one nigga can appease Yoga. And if only her can save you. If it is sacrifice we have to make, so be it. Mba. Take me to the church. Yes. Let me to Fadi Kobi. <laughs> you will know what to do. Look, Fadi Kobi does not know everything. This sickness was inflicted by Yogwe. And it's only the priestess of Yogwe can cure you. Let's go to Wanega. <laughs> Take me to Fadi Kobi. Take me to the church. Idika, if you do not go to one nigger, you might die. Oh, I reject it. He will not die. He will not die. You will not die. Oh, no, you will not die. It is the will of God that I die. Please, you will not die. Don't say negative things with your mouth. Nana, you be good. Then I am a Christian now. Mm. I will not go back to hidden life Amen. again. Amen. You will not die. We bring your sick son to your presence, O oh God. We have so much faith. And we know that with the power of faith, we can come against the devil. We put on the armor of faith as we come against the wills of the enemy. For we know we do not battle against flesh and blood, but against the host of spiritual wickedness and powers of darkness. Put on the shield of salvation as we quench the darts of the enemy. Father God, we put on the helmet of faith as we protect ourselves from the darts of the enemy. We put on the helmets of salvation as we discern the sickness. Father God, I decree that as I hold the sword of salvation, the sword of faith, the sword of the Holy Spirit 
I decree this sickness cut short in Jesus name. Amen. Sickness leave this body in the name of the Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit Give me your hand. Stand. Hey. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Let us And who told you twins are abomination? <laughs> who told you? <laughs> twins are blessings from God. Eh? Double blessings. Bleeding. <laughs> twins are human beings. Human beings like you and I. You and I. Yes. Mgawa. Hey. May God forbid. Yes. Listen. You do not know our custom here. They are evil. And it's a taboo to harbor them in this land. Yes. If you don't know. I do. Just tell you this. I, I have had three previous time beds. And they were all twins and they were killed. No. Please I tell you no. But you don't bother yourself because nobody will take away your twins. Shut up. Listen. You will be punished and surely be put to death if you try to protect them. Yes! It is God who will punish you if you try to take away these lives. Yes. Now, I have been taking care of people since I came to this land. Eh? I am not dead. I tell you now. Leave. Hmm? Leave at once. You have provoked the wrath of the earth goddess. And you will be killed. For this. Yes, that's true. Commission. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go before he tries to convince us that our ancestors grew wings and then trade them for arms. If they are here, they are still in this evil place. We have done our own duty. Let's go. Go. Get out of here. Let's go. What priests or whatever they call you, it is an abomination if you keep protecting them here and if you continue you'll be killed with them go. get out go go Glory be to God. Like I was saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into a river. When it is full, it is brought ashore. 
and then the good fish gets separated from the bad fish the good fish gets put into the basket and the bad fish is thrown away so shall it be in the close of age when the angels of God shall come down and separate the righteous from the evil the righteous will ascend to heaven Father, when are we going to heaven? Are you righteous, sir? That is the question you should ask yourself. The righteous will ascend to heaven. And the evil will be thrown into the furnace of fire. There in the furnace of fire men will weep men will gnash their teeth you white fish come out come here Shrine has led so many astray. You shall stand no more. Pull it down. Everything. Stop it. You devil. You full of deceit and villainy. You will not make crooked the straight path of God. I command the devil out of you as I say, FALL IN JESUS' NAME! And I command of the spirits out of you in Jesus' name! For the bodies of my guards. Where are they? They have been arrested by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Sleeping? You mean they are not dead? Oh, what do you mean? You mean you have powers over life and death? God is the giver and taker of life. 
<laughs> oh. Okay. I have a proposition to make. This is your power over life and death. I mean, this power over life and death. Can I get it from you at your own price? What? Yes. You want to buy the power of God with money? Oh. Why not? May you perish with your money. Juanita, I tell you now, repent and be saved. I will not stop until I see you and this lunatic religion out of this land. And I will not stop until you denounce your fake God and let the people of this land proclaim the one and true God. I'm here. Welcome, my daughter. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Take. Feed your master with it. Let it be his supper. <laughs> Go. Go feed him. Go! Feed your master! Oh. 
I, I did as I was instructed. I put the snake on the bed. You must never fail again. If you fail again, you will be punished. Now go and do as I instructed. Yahweh! Yahweh! I've done away with you. There's no connection between light and darkness. What are you doing? Have you gone mad? It's your way, man. You will not understand. Understand what? When a man sees a sight that is so unfamiliar, he knows the end has come. I have come to the end of worshipping this dumb carved wood and stone. Eh? You call your gods carved wood and stone. To fear. So you have joined these Christians to ridicule our gods. <laughs> Carved wood and that's what they are. Hey, it's a queen, man. It will do you good to join us. Never. It is my traditional religious belief and practice that I must follow. Hey, I'm a Christian now. I have found a god that's more powerful. Than than Yogwe and these idols. I've seen it. I've touched it. I can feel it. It exists because this God has fulfilled every promise He made. Oh, Biko, when we worship in our shrine, we do not think we're doing so to carve to wood and stone, eh? well, but to the supernatural gods. Well, what seems good for a man, let him do. But as for me and my family, we have found the light. We have found the light, oh, and we will follow this light to anywhere it will lead us. Ah, you will follow the light. Don't worry, follow the light. But when the wrath of our ancestors will come, <laughs> it will fall on your head. Okay, can you see? And do not say that I did not tell you. Do you know me? <laughs> it is lie. Let it be. <laughs> I'm going your back. I'm going now. <laughs> you better join us now before it is too late. <laughs> Don't say I didn't tell you. Sister Agatha, I thought you were supposed to be in church. I am. I am. I am. I am. You? Where are you going? I'm, I am. I, I, I just want to just go. You're hesitating, Sister Agatha. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, I just. What do you have in that bag? Huh? What is in that bag? It's. Give it to me. Now. What are you doing with my shirt? Nothing. I, I, I just wanted to just drop, drop it there. And I was just going back to the church to drop it. Sister Agatha, you have been contaminated. You have been compromised by the evil one. Oh, I have not. No. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. You will be 
evil spirit. I cast you into the recesses of hell. I chain you right now in Jesus' name. by the devil, used by evil ones to harm me. Jesus. Jesus. But she has been saved now. Lift her up. You call this one the lock. Eh? When I have series of walks piled up there. And nobody comes to collect them. That is the worst. Often, I have not walked this past one month. In fact, we are suffering. All because of these, these Christians. They are making our people turn away from our religion. And very soon, no one will remain to offer prayers. And sacrifice it to our ghost. <laughs> I told you. For the, the world in this our land, oh leader, is turning upside down. Eh? Okay. The other day, uh, 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 in jail, when I came and told me that he went to uh, uh, in jail. Uh, 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 because. Uh, house. Uh, and he saw him burning his family shrine. What? And he, he, he sent to his friend. Ozo. Ozo Idika. Did the same thing. And now others are beginning to follow the same thing. Hmm. That's a good one. But of all, must we fold our hands and want to ruin our lives? No, no, no. Mba. Mba. We will not. We have to do something. We have to send these Christians away. That is the only solution, no? But uh, we cannot do that alone. These people are becoming too strong. They are becoming too strong. Let me tell you something. If we unite, all the wood covers. And those still write our goals and put up a strong fight. We will drag we will them away. This is our town, and nobody can take it away from us. Yes, of course. Nobody can take it away from us. Yes. Thank you. If we unite. Yes. Okay. I think it's good. You made a good points. We will have to gather ourselves together. We like ourselves. Please fight this cause. I'll find him. I'll believe him. I'll believe him. Think of what I told you. We'll do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Come along, Fuma. Hi. Give it over. We have to unite. We just have to unite. We just have to
city is like heaven. The heaven Father Ikobi talks about. So heaven is in the city. <laughs> God. Not really. The city is a text of heaven. Or wouldn't you like to come to the city with me? You show with me? As my wife. I don't know. You have to ask my father. Why? Why should I ask your father? Is you I want to get married to not your father? Okay? God. This is money. God have me. Don't touch it. What is it? This is money. Ah! It's sacred. It's for the gods. No. Your so-called God doesn't exist. This is waste. And I hate waste. Drop it. Drop what? Maybe your village people will be keeping money here for me. So whenever I pass by, I'll pick it up. Let's go. Stop all this. Let's go. Hey, you! Why do you take that which belongs to the gods? <laughs> hey! Abomination! Your so-called God doesn't exist. Hey! Huh? Listen! Do you know you are a thief? You have committed a crime against the gods and you must be punished. You dare not touch me. I'm a Christian. Huh? Hey! A huh? hey, Christian, today we teach you to respect our custom. Yes. To an idol. An idol? No! Can you imagine an idol eating money? You shut up! How can you feast on the table of God and still feast on the table of the devil? Have you seen what your brother has cost you? Now follow me. I said now! Instead of you to fight. Tell me he has stayed too long. I just sent him on a little errand. What's going on? Father, I don't understand the game. He's still becoming Father. too lackadaisical. Yes. Solomon has gone. Jesus. What are you talking about? His room is empty. Oh God. He left with his belongings. What? Yes. Why? Are you sure? He left with Edika's daughter. My God! Solomon! Yes. You don't know what you're saying. Yes. I went out. Yes. Did you tell me where they're going to? No, but I know from that the missionary is really encouraging me. For real, yes. Because, um, if you look back at this, Father, good evening, sir. How are you, John? Very, very fine, sir. How are you doing, sir? Fine, Father. Fine, thank you. Great. I was uh, specifically asked to come over here by Bishop Moye. Okay. To know how you are faring. Fine, fine, we're fine. But the bad news is that he wants to call up the mission. What? Call up the mission? Why? Father, why? why? The report he's been getting. It's totally disheartening. Disheartening? Oh my God. Disheartening? Yes. Father, we are making real progress here. More people are coming to the church every Sunday. And we're touching lives. The response we're getting from them is amazing. Father, why? Why would you call to this mission? 
I am not doubting your progress, but... See, Father, see, we are short of staying here. We've brought drastic changes to people's lives. Yes! See, people are saying the fertility of worshipping that in your way and other dieters. Do you know, they've seen the power of God and they're coming to church with their families. So why would they call off this mission? Father! You are doing great work here. In fact, you are growing. Good is progress. Can you take me to Father Kobe, please? Oh, Hita! You are good to you! Iyogwe has blessed us with so much rich harvest! And we have come to say thank you to her! Eh? We have come with our yams, plantain, goats, the food and life of the people. In your way, what have you got to say? Yes! If we thank her for the work she did, she will do more for us. Iyogwe yeah. yeah. welcomes you! Yeah. Eat! Drink! Yeah. I'll be happy! So wrong. You worship a false god and give him glory, and yet you ignore the true God, the God who gave you a rich sacrifice. I tell you. God is a jealous God. He will never share his glory with anyone or anything. I beg you, stop this heathen festival and go back to God. Go back to the church. For this is not the right place to give your offerings. Please, I beg you. You have overstepped your bounds. Yes. You have overstepped your bounds. How dare you? How dare you come here to stop this holy celebration? Are you mad? Is anything wrong with your head? You, agent of the devil. You know you're leading these people astray. And I tell you. God in heaven will punish you for this. Wow. I will curse you with the curse of Yahweh. Yes. 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 will visit you with so much wrath. Yes. 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 And he will wipe you away from the surface of this earth. Take him away! Bring him back! God will be you! Yes. Yes. Let the celebration continue!
什么意思？Shall be free. <sighs> free from the bondage of hedonism. <sighs> free from the shackles of ignorance. <sighs> ah, he came to fulfill that vision. But he came him. You evil woman! Have you come here to see the dead? It was supposed to be you. But these fools failed in your way. It is not so one, Ega. In your way, do not murder innocent people. We yes. condemn your actions in totality. Yes! yes. What? Shut up! I did my duty by your way. Lie! Lie! Strangers! To disregard our gods. I will not. Iyobe will only fight his own fight only when it is just. Yes. Yes. Uh -uh. Shut up again. I will fight for the God I serve. I will not allow it come to disrepute. I will not. I pity all you elders who are fighting Iyobe. You will come back to fight you all. One again. We the elders and 30 men of this land have decided to banish you from this land. Yes! yes. You have polluted the land with the blood of a kinsman. And the justice of the earth goddess said that you be banned from this village. Yes! You shall not set your foot in this land ever again, all of you. If you do so, you shall be put to death. Yes! yes. Oh, shut up! Shut up! You lie! No one can banish one nigga. The great priestess of Yahweh and Ngene. I am like the flood that cannot be impeded. Never! <laughs> Nobody is above the Lord of this land. Yes. Even you. Yes. 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 Another pretense shall be choosing after consulting the oracle at Obadu. You are fighting a lost battle. Last battle! I have no time for you, elders. Until I finish with these Christians, then I shall come back to face you, eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> you don't see? Huh? Just remember with you. Escort these guards to the outskirts of the village. Nothing shall be given to them if you water. You get me right. I'll be quick. We'll do one. Nah, nah, nah. You go to. Ah, shut up. 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 Shut
again. Yes! Me again. Now I advise you, for you would not tempt the Lord your God. Leave this place now. You are the one that will live. You have succeeded in destroying the homeland. You have taken away everything that we have, even our peace. Leave. Leave with your followers. Leave. Gaga and Ogun. I'm not going to join you. <laughs> yeah! I'm I can't do it in the name of Jesus. Why in the name of Jesus? Leave you evil shit. Leave, I say. Leave now. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. I bind you evil spirit. Leave. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave in the name of Jesus. Leave. Yeah. 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 Yeah.